Hey, welcome to X3 One Topic Three Pundits. I'm your host, John C. DeVark. I'm here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Ingo. And we're here to discuss the famous, uh, or famous, the new case that seems to be uh, cropping up where a, uh, defense, a famous defense attorney is fighting the DOJ demands regarding some, forcing someone, of course, the person that, that they're trying to force to do something, something of a, I guess, a <laughs> douchebag, but this is still beside the point. They're trying to force them to reveal a password for some encrypted files, and uh, and they now they're trying to argue that you can't, this is testifying against yourself. It's a violation of your uh, constitutional rights. You, you well, I well? mean, this sounds a little bit special. I mean, you have the right to remain encrypted, right? Or you have the right to withhold. Don't you? Well, I guess I don't know. It's kind of fuzzy. I mean, if you're, you know, the, the the FBI and the Department of Justice is always pretty heavy-handed. I mean, the, what a couple of weeks ago they come in and take out a whole ISP, they just grab their whole equipment. So I mean, this is a little more subtle than that. They don't. Uh, I mean, it's 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 funny because it's sort of like you know, it goes along with a search warrant, right? I mean, couldn't they come in and say, I have the right to search your hard drive, and you have to unlock? Unlock the door, or I'll break it down, or something. No, I mean, but it's I still know. incriminating yourself. Yeah. Or it could be potentially incriminating yourself if you have that on there, because you're giving them the key to something that holds all the evidence yeah. against you. So no, I could definitely see why you know you, you would not want to give them your password and why it would. I don't be think it's going to hold up. I mean, no, it's definitely not. I mean, they're just going to say you have to. Why wouldn't hold up? What you guys aren't going to defend the rights <laughs> of the individual? Well, no, I mean it should be that way, but unfortunately, that's not <laughs> the way our justice system works. I mean. Yeah. Well, I find it interesting because I've always thought that uh, that turning over a lot of this stuff was just testifying against yourself. But I would actually, as a libertarian, I kind of take it to an extreme where I believe fingerprints are testifying against yourself. It's like, you know, you get, boom, you just testified against yourself. You've been forced to testify against yourself. Anyway, that's moot and it's kind of a, sp a specious yeah. argument. But uh, what about this idea, though? I'm just throwing this out to the people who are... Uh, you have a bunch of encrypted stuff behind a firewall of encryption, uh, whatever you use. And one of, there are many products out there that are free, and they work very well. Uh, you take it to your attorney, and you say, here's what I've got. Here's my encryption password, and here is all the stuff that's in there. Uh, and I want to discuss it. And then, then doesn't it become attorney-client <laughs> privilege? And can they say, you can't make him give you the password because these are all privileged documents. Yeah. Well, but if, if, if it's evidence, so. that's, you, you don't know. think it's so. It's sort of like giving the key to your house to somebody, and they say, you can't search my house because the, my attorney has my key. And it's <laughs> well, then, yeah, you can use the same thing and say, <laughs> this is genius. <laughs> well, then you can sit there and say, oh, yeah, here's a letter that states that, you know, I killed blah, 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 whatever, and then hand it to your attorney, and then now they can no longer use yeah. it as evidence. I mean, I just that doesn't hold up. It it does. Does. Do that. I don't think you're going to get far No, I, I don't think John. that's going to hold up. You guys stink. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you've been watching X3.